your house cooking everything outdoors. Just recently, Ballistic Barbecue threw down a challenge with a hamburger contest. They're looking for the best hamburger recipe from the best cooks. And I'm stepping up to plate because I think that's me. What do you think? I'm bringing it. Gary House, the outdoor cook, cooking everything outdoors show. I hope you try this at home. Accepting the ballistic barbecue challenge means I have to come up with my favorite recipe. Wow, it's a can of worms to open up right there, buddy. But I tell you what, I just recently learned how to make the most incredible filet mignon I've ever eaten in my life. And I think I can pull that off with a hamburger. This is my pepper-crusted, blue cheese chive, herbed butter filet mignon burger. This is what we're gonna do first. Gotta make our butter. Chives. I'm going to need two tablespoons minced chives. Easy enough to do. It can be approximate. It doesn't have to be exactly. Two tablespoons. Make sure your knife is razor sharp. We don't want to crush these. We want them minced. Right there, roughly two tablespoons of minced chives. I have three tablespoons of softened butter. We're going to need about an ounce and a half of blue cheese. This is some wonderful crumbled blue cheese uh, aged in a cave. And I just love this stuff. It's very aromatic, really wonderful. What is one and a half? Looks like about two tablespoons to me. Don't worry about measuring it. We just want that flavor, that aroma, that, that um, um, gosh, the, the aroma. Well, it's just gonna ooze out of this thing. So we need to blend it all together. Just take a fork, soften butter, and start making a nice little butter blend. Just get it thoroughly mixed. You already can smell the chives uh, releasing their pungent aroma. Blue cheese is also releasing. So we'll get it blended up just about like that. I'm gonna have roughly four tablespoons of blended uh, blue cheese and chive butter. We're gonna set that aside. What we're gonna do next is make our pepper uh, crust for our filet mignon burgers. And it's really, really simple. Uh, if you have a side burner, um, easy enough to do to put your skillet on top of that. And uh, in this case, I don't have a side burner. I'm gonna pop it in the kettle. So I'm heating it up right now, getting it super hot. But what we're gonna need is three tablespoons of olive oil. And three tablespoons of freshly cracked uh, peppercorns. I'm using a rainbow peppercorns, so they get a little bit more heat uh, in my opinion. Uh, but you could use all black and the flavor and aromas when you're cracking these are just incredible. Um, so what we're going to do is but we're going to temper this um, taste so it's not an overwhelmingly powerful pepper burn when we be, eat into our uh, steak. Filet mignon steak burgers. So three tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of crushed fresh black pepper or rainbow pepper if you have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in our barbecue and we're going to heat this up until it is a slow simmer. And 
at that point it's going to start releasing its fragrances its aromas and we're going to just let that simmer for probably five minutes just stirring it a little bit and then we're going to pull it and show you what to do next just want to take a second and show you what it's going to look like while it's simmering you can see the bubbles just basically cooking that pepper starting to smell the pepper aromas coming through that's what we're looking for we're going to do this for about five minutes time me in about five minutes peppers are done you can really smell the aromas now this is a screaming hot pan you do not just want to walk in there reach in and grab it double up yeah look at that just beautiful smells incredible now we've got to let this cool off and cool off fast so i am going to transfer it out of this really hot pan before we burn any of it and we're going to let that cool down to room temperature okay Um, you can see what we're cooking on stone let's shut this down part three is to make our filet mignon burgers now probably up to this point you thought I was actually going to use ground up filet mignon um, no not on my budget maybe yours and if you do invite me over but it's the same concept. We're going for a super thick hamburger. Now filet mignons are about an inch and a half to two inches thick for a really good one. About like that. And if you've ever tried to cook a hamburger that thick, you run into problems. Typically you get a greasy ball, um, uncooked, uh, burnt on the outside, somewhat rare on the inside, very difficult to do. But with the te technique that I'm going to show you, you're going to ace that. You're going to be able to present a monster hamburger that looks like a filet mignon. Very cool. So what I have here is about a pound and a quarter of 90-10 Angus beef. Pretty lean. I don't need a lot of fat in this. I don't want it to swell up. Uh, so what we're going to do is form two nice big filet mignon burgers. I don't want to work this an awful lot. So basically we're going to cut it in half, form it, and then top it with our uh, crusted black pepper. Now, roughly equal portions. So we're talking about three quarter pound of burger here. Just get it worked together. I'm not adding anything to this. We want it to taste like the beef. But we're super enhancing the crust. What does a filet mignon look like? Just about like that. Have you ever had a burger like that? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna form the other one, and I'll show you how to put the pepper crusting on. So now I have both my patties formed. They are easily two inches thick. Challenge to grill, maybe. So I have my roasted um, crushed black pepper. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of coarse salt to that. I'm going to mix it up. And this is going to give you that nice salt pepper blend that we all enjoy so much. And then what I want to do is take roughly a fourth of this and I am going to apply it to the top of my burger, making a beautiful thick 
pepper crust. <laughs> Excuse me. Just like so. Okay, see where I'm going with this? Now, I'm gonna flip this over very carefully. Keeping it on my wrap, saran wrap, if you will. Keep the patty formed properly. And put the other coating on there. Don't need it on the sides, but if a little bit dribbles over there, no big deal. Now, we need to basically press this pepper crusting into our burger. And I'm gonna do that by wrapping it up in the saran wrap, nice and tightly. That way I can manipulate the form of the filet mignon burger. And get that pressed in there nicely. And you can just see how well that works. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time. So now I have two, two inch thick black, or excuse me, pepper crusted filet mignon burgers. These are ready to go on the grill now. But we just can't throw it on the grill. We are going to sear them on the island grill stone. And then once we've built the crust up on both sides, I'm going to bake them on a cedar plank to finish it all off. Now it's time to put this on the grill. Uh, it's set for maybe 10 minutes while I've preheated my grill stone inside my barbecue. I've taken the time to uh, soak up some cedar planks which I'm going to finish my recipe on. Now when you cook filet mignon, you just don't throw it in the pan or throw it in the oven or, or really probably not even throw it on the grill because it's so thick. And uh, one of the tricks with uh, filet mignon is um, to sear it and then bake it. That's very common in, in restaurants when you get a really good filet mignon. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here right now. So I have a very, very hot stone. I'm gonna put uh, just a little bit of olive oil on there. My stone's fairly well um, seasoned. I'll just get a little bit on there to help with the sear. And we are going to unwrap these bad boys and place them on the grill. What we want to do is sear them for just two, maybe three minutes on each side. I'm just building up a crust. Ah, those look beautiful and they're a little messy. Okay, number one. You hear it? That's what we're looking for. Number two. Shape is perfect. Keep it separated a little bit so the heat will surround it. In about two minutes, I'm gonna flip it. So our first side's been on about two minutes. I also took the cedar planks and put them in there to get them ready. Now we need to flip our filet mignon burger. Um, kind of tough to get a spatula under there because we could break the crust so typically what we'll do is we'll go in with a pair of tongs on this. Take a look here. It releases nicely and look at that. Okay one more. Very carefully it's hot. Right there. Nice crust. Got some browning going on. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Two minutes. done searing the other side. I need to get these on the planks. So you can see, seared on both sides, really, really beautiful. I want to turn my planks over. The cedar aroma that's coming through is just incredible. Now the reason 
I want to do this is to separate the burger from the searing heat. We'll just take this one and set it right there. This one and set it right there. Let me get that stone cleaned a little bit. Now I'm still going to use the stone, but I'm using the cedar planks to accent the flavors. Set that right there. Set that right there. Now I'm going to seal this up because our hamburgers are still raw inside. There hasn't been enough time to cook them in there. And then I'm going to turn this down. I want to get it down to about 325 degrees. In fact, I'm going to turn the center burner off. So we'll watch the temperature. These are going to cook for maybe probably five to seven minutes more. I'm going to get them just about medium is what I, I personally like. So let's see what happens. They've been baking for a little while. I'm at 140. I'm going to pull them. They're going to cook a little bit more. I'm going to get around 145. You can cook it for a lot less if you want. Let's take a peek at these. Look at that. Maintain their shape. Look like flame on. Nice. I'm going to turn off the heat. Let them set there for a bit. I'm going to decorate this plate up and I'll show you how we put it all together. Pepper crusted. Blue cheese and chive buttered flame on burgers. Let's get a little plating done here. Get a little, uh, little sweet on our plate, just for some decorations, nothing fancy. Nice crispy fried onion rings. We got a little sweet, a little crunch. Now we need a little burger. Woo! Look at that. Mmm. Pepper is just absolutely incredible. Remember our chive, blue cheese butter that we made up earlier and we just want to get a little topping on there and that's going to melt into our burger like there's no tomorrow. Well, ballistic barbecue stepped up to the plate. This is my creation. Flimion burger.